Hi everyone, this is Jason Matthew from the We Can Edit Tech channel. And today we're going to be quickly looking at how to add, delete, select multiple slides, duplicate slides, and also how to rearrange slides in a presentation. So let's get straight into it. So one of the things you're going to quickly realize about PowerPoint, and this is true for most software, is that there are going to be multiple ways in which you can do the same thing. So let's start by looking at how we can add slides. So first of all, we would start by default, the first slide in PowerPoint will be the title slide. Now let's say I want to add a next slide to that. There are different ways in which I can do that. And we're gonna look at all of them now. So one way is that I can use the home ribbon. So make sure that you have home selected. And then in the home ribbon, there is new slide. And if I click on new slide, it inserts a new slide. Another way in which I could add a new slide is that I can just in the slide panel select, let's say I want to add a new slide, slide three. I select slide two in the slide panel and I click return or enter my keyboard. And there I go, I have slide three. If you are into keyboard shortcuts, well, there's a keyboard shortcut for adding a new slide and that is control M. So if I hold control M, an M on my keyboard, there I go, I have slide four. I can also right click on a slide in a slide panel to add a new slide. So for instance, let's right click on slide four in the slide panel and I have a few options there and the one I'm gonna choose here is new slide. And once I click on that, I get slide five. Now let's say I want to add a slide between two slides. So for instance, uh, let's say I want to add a slide between slides two and three. What I can do is use my cursor and click in that space between slides two and three. And there you see that blinking line. And then you can do any of the methods that I described before to add a new slide. So you could right click and click on new slide. You can click on new slide on the home ribbon. You can just simply hit the enter return key. Either of those ways is not going to add a new slide between slides two and three. So I'm just going to hit return on my keyboard. And there you go. A new slide has been added. Now, if I want to delete a slide, well, that's also easy to do. First, you want to select the slide. So let's say I wanted to delete slide two. I select slide two. And for this example, let's just name it so that we know that this is indeed slide two. So I'm just gonna give it a title, slide two. And as you can see, as I type in the text slide two in the main window there, you see in the slide panel, the thumbnail has also been updated with that text. So you can see the text of slide two inside that thumbnail. So I have slide two selected. Now I want to delete it. There are two ways in which you can do that. So you make sure that the slide two on the slide panel is selected and then you click on delete key on your keyboard. So I'm gonna click on my delete key on the keyboard and there it goes. Now let's do it again. So I'm gonna again title the new slide two as slide two it's updated in the thumbnail. And this time to delete it, I'm going to go to the slide panel thumbnail and I'm gonna right click on it. And there you see we have the option to delete slide. So I'm gonna click on delete slide and there it goes again. How you go about selecting multiple slides in the slide panel will depend on the position of these slides. So let's look at this. For this example, I'm going to title each slide, slide one, slide two and I'm going to number the rest of the slides three four and I'll probably put in the next one five okay I have labeled uh, slides one to five now let's say I wanted to select slides two three four and five well if the slides are next to each other in a row then it's easy you use the shift key so first I click on slide two and then holding the shift key on the keyboard I then click on slide five and as you can see, I've now selected automatically three and four. So now slides two, three, four, and five have been selected. So I'm going to just select slide one. So I'm gonna click on slide one to remove that selection. And now let's say in the second example, I want to select 
slides two and four. So if you want to select slides two and four, that means you don't want to select slide three in that selection. So they are not next to each other. Slides two and four are not directly next to each other. To do that, if you are on a Mac like I am, you're going to use the command key. If you are on a Windows computer, you're going to use the control key. So this is how we do it. First, I click on slide two to select it and then holding the command key if you're on a Mac or the control key if you're on a Windows computer, you select slide four. And as you can see, slide three in this example is not selected because I use the command key in my case or the control key if you're using a Windows machine. Now the next thing we're gonna be looking at is how we can duplicate a slide. So let's go to slide two and I'm gonna rename it as duplicate me. And as you can see again, on the left hand side in the slide panel, the title of the thumbnail has also updated to suit that. So I want to duplicate that slide. It means that I should get another slide saying duplicate me is identical copy of it. There are two ways in which you can do that. You can either right click and you can choose duplicate slide and there you have it. There's a, another copy. Or if you enter your keyboard shortcuts, you use command D if you're on a Mac or Control D if you're on a Windows computer. So you hold on Command D as I am on a Mac or Control D and again, it's duplicated. And now the final thing that we're gonna be looking at is how we could rearrange these slides, how we can move these slides around. So one easy way in which we can do it is that we just select the slide on the slide panel and we click and hold on it and we just drag it to wherever we want it. And you see that red orange line that's coming up that shows you where the new position and where it will be so like for instance if i wanted between what we have as title slide one and that first duplicate me slide i can just drop it there and you see it's now between those two now when you have multiple slides and you want to move them around it could get a little tricky with just being holding and dragging them uh, a probably better way is to use the slide sorter so that's at the base of your window. So you can go to that grid icon and it's gonna say slide sorter and you click on it. And now you see a thumbnail of each slide. And you can also use the slider to zoom in to get the thumbnails bigger, or you could zoom out to get the thumbnails smaller to fit your window. And there it's easier now to drag and, and move them around. So like let's say I wanted this slide, slide three to go to the end. I just hold and drag it and bring it to the end there. And there it's at the end. And as I said, there are many different ways in which you can do the same thing in these programs. So for instance, if I wanted to move this slide as title slide three to this to between slides one and duplicate me slide, I can also just right click on it, choose cut, and then click in that space between slide one and duplicate me slide and then right click and click paste. And there you go. It's there between slide one and the duplicate me slide. So there are different ways in which you could do this thing. Okay, so I think we kind of covered the basics. We now know how to add and delete and move and select different slides. So please like and subscribe to support the channel and let me know what you would like to see in the next video. Until then, take care and we'll talk, talk soon. Bye for now.